Edwin Jackson is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the A's. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Digging in, Chase Darneau. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off for San Francisco. Third baseman, number two, Chase Darneau. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Check swing grounder to the right side. Taken there by Lowry. And there's one gone to start the night. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matty, when Buster Posey's in this lineup, he's a guy you have to keep your eye on. He hit over 320 last year, and that will get any pitcher's attention. They knew it when he was coming up, and they knew it when he was on the on-deck circle. Really impressive hitter. So in now for San Francisco, Brandon Belt. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. A bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first would get him scored at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. His career line against Jackson. He's batting at a 385 clip. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. Here's the first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Well, even though these two teams are in different leagues, they do play each other every year because of the crosstown rivalry, and it's always pretty fun. Yeah, and for the players, Matt, they love it. Not only is there more on the line than usual, like bragging rights, but they're not having to stay at hotels and all that. It's just like a normal home game where they're driving to a different ballpark. Two out, nobody on. Yeah. Two balls and a strike. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Hit down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit. Play more gaps again. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Giants are down one, two, three. Giants nothing. A's coming up. It's the Bay Bridge Series on Major League Baseball, the show. Number 57, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Into the box now, Marcus Semyon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading up for the game, the shortstop, Marcus Semyon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nowhere close with the fastball to begin the at bat. It's ball one. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The one two mind to the right side that gets down and he's got himself a base hit 
So a good start to the inning for the A's as their leadoff hitter reaches base safely. Hey, after the leadoff knock right there, you know what they say. You get that leadoff guy on, I don't care how it's done. He usually comes around to score, but let's tip our hat to the pitcher. He set the tone in the top of the first, retiring him in order. And that brings up Chad Pinder. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Simeon's off and running. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. The 0-2 home. And a neck-high fastball that time. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. The one two gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. With that, let's look at the starting lineup for the hometown A's. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? You know, I'm looking for a big performance out of that guy in the sixth spot. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Coming to the plate now, Jed Lowry. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Oh and one here it comes hit back up the middle Crawford fields it cleanly and that's the second out that important. so now it's Mark Hanna opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. First offering on its way. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. I think that's one of the things that irritates players and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. Count even now at one and one. Set. Here comes the 1 1. A fastball right over the outside corner. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Hit hard down the line. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Hey, there's a good job of battling right there, d -Row. Pitcher had the advantage with two outs, two strikes. You're one pitch away, and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. That's the type of hitter this guy is, and he was able to come through. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Change up gets him out in front for strike two. Hey make a pitch right here and get out of this. 
Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. One run is not going to kill you. Kenna, the runner at first with two gone. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. We're back to the Coliseum right after this. Here's Buster Posey now. His career line against Jackson. He's got one hit and 17 at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Pinder is under this one. And very quickly, one gone. All right, guys, here's how the Oakland A's are lining up defensively. And known as one of the best framing catchers in the game, Jonathan LaCroix can beat you multiple fashions. Not only can he do it from a defensive standpoint, catching and throwing to second base, but he can also move the ball on the offensive side. Next to bat for the Giants, Brandon Crawford, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Another slow breaking ball that misses down low. And here's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. I know the umpire balled that one right there, but it was close enough. He's going to try and establish that pitch in. As an offensive player, you've got to build that rapport with the umpire. He can't give him anything off the inside half of the plate. On the ground to third. Throw gets him two down. Batting deck, the left fielder number seven. Gorky. Digging in, Gorky's Hernandez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch on its way. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. There's a called strike on a fastball up in the zone. We're seeing more of that from pitchers nowadays with the launch angles. Guys are looking for the ball down in the zone. If a pitcher can pitch up in the zone like that pitch right there, you can go ahead and make some hay. One and one. Nope. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. It's three balls and a strike to the Giants' left fielder. Number six would be next. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. Olsen is there and the side is retired. Nothing happened in that half inning against Edwin Jackson. And he's got himself a 1-0 lead. Next up for the A's, Matt Olsen. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Olsen! First delivery to him on the way. Hey! There's a strike. All ones the count. Tries to oh, shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Zero. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. No off 
Walker at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Time for a look at the San Francisco Giants on defense. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Now the pitch. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. Not close. It's 2-0. Now the 2-0. Is looked at for the first strike. You know, he fell behind 2 0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball, middle of the zone. Two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. Is laid off and the count runs full. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. The 3 2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. McCutcheon is under it. Two gone. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. We'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Here comes the first pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Tomlinson loves it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the A's one and the Giants nothing. Now at the plate, number six. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses for ball one. One and no pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. One and one. That pitch just had too much velocity on it for you to catch up to that. Unless you're cheating to a high fastball above the belt and you're all in, I say you got to find a way to lower your sights or it's going to be a tough game. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Three and one. 
fighting tag. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Here's Kelby Tomlinson. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. Giants are still searching for their first hit of the ball game. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now the 2-1 pitch. Runners on the move for second. Liner toward right center. And that's the first hit in this one for the Giants. And the tying run is in to score all the way from first. It's one to one. Batting ninth, designated hitter. So it will be the Giants DH. Allen Henson will swing it from the left side right here. Here's a look over to first. And he's back easily. First pitch of the at bat on its way showing bunt here but he takes ball one. It's a great job right there to pull that one back make the count 1 0 and get this defense on its heels a little bit. The number one thing if you're going to be a good bunter you have to get strikes. Now the 1 0 now a bunt attempt here and good hustle to get over and tag him for the out throw won't get him. Sacrifice was in order right there as he gets the bunt down right there. And sometimes it's easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Standing in now, Chase Darno as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 0-1. And here's a foul ball just off to the right as they get ahead of him here. Nothing in two. Darno is normally at shortstop, although they've got him playing third base here today. Yeah, always one of my favorite things to do. You watch this guy today. Playing shortstop, you have time. There's rhythm. There's a timing to that position. Third base, man, step in a dive. Reactionary position. You have to come get it. Go back on it. A lot of different things. This is a fun player to watch today. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Calling for it, Pinder. And that retires the side. Giants will have to be content with just the one. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. All tied at one and one. To the plate now is the designated hitter, number 38. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Number 38. First offering on its way. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. A 
The wind up and the 0 1. Nope. Missed with a breaking ball. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. One and two now. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in the one-two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. And that misses ball one. One out, nobody on. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. Hit hard toward the right side. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. You try to bust him in, Dero, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Ready for another chance? Chad Pender. He got called out on strikes his last time through. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hot shot to third. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. And this will go down as an E5, and you can see the exasperation on his face. Lowry. Jed Lowry now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a curveball that time that broke too low. One oh on the ground for Crawford. This could be two backhanded and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on it. You know, D Rose, sometimes one of your best oh, friends are your own there. teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's going to buy him? He's going to buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second. Wasn't meant to be. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Two and zero, oh the count to the A's left fielder. This is worst case scenario for the pitcher. As the offensive player, man, smile on your face knowing you're sitting fastball right down the middle. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Now the 3 and 0 offer is taken strike one. This is where if you're the batter, one pitch, one spot, and you get the barrel of the bat to that baseball as quick as possible with damage on your mind. Semyon, the runner at third, Pinder at second, Lowry is over at first with one away. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. Gone! It's a grand slam!
So he promptly unloads the bases with that one, and it's suddenly a 5-1 ball game. And that is why you just can't put yourself in a bases-loaded situation. You've got nowhere to put the hitter, and he knows it. So he sets up waiting to pounce, and that's exactly what he does. Jumping all over this thing for a grand slam. Outfielder Steven Biscotti the next to hit. As he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. This is a situation where you almost have to play mind tricks on yourself if you're out there on the mound. Four runs have come across already this inning, but now the bases are empty. He's not in danger anymore, so he's just got to tell himself he's doing fine and he just needs to get this inning over with. Count now a ball and a strike. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. The 2-1 home. He is low and outside for a ball. Three and one pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. McCutcheon is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Up next for Oakland, first baseman. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Four runs here in this half inning. And a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. and oh. And this is why he's struggling right here. He's not able to pound the strike zone early in the count. These guys are finding themselves in serious count leverage situations. And good hitters aren't going to miss. Turned on down the line. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Comes set and the 0-1. Hard ground ball to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. Olsen rounds the corner and is headed home. He'll score easily as they push the lead to five now. That's a grind pitch right there. Fastball in now off batting. the plate, and this batter's Hunter. able to fight and Hunter. keep his hands inside this baseball and drive it for a knock. Impressive. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. Popped him up. Hernandez moving in. But he won't get there. It falls in. That was actually a well-executed fastball. In to in oh, off the plate. Credit the offensive player. He smelled that coming. Turned and burned. In now, number 38, as he'll take a look at ball one. Well, you know, giving up three straight hits is bad enough, but now it looks like he's starting to nibble a little bit. It's hard not to when you're getting hit, but you don't want to put yourself at bad counts. The 
the 1-0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. Chapman on second. Luke Roy at first, two out in the inning. Drilled to the left side. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Hey, guys, that's the danger of falling behind in the show. You miss over the harder to play with count leverage, you're going to pay for it. Marcus, come in. Into the box, Marcus Semien, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on, but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Set to deal on two and two. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. So they strike for six in the inning as there's the big blow, the grand slam home run. We played three full, and the lead is stretched to seven to one. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped him up. Olsen has room in foul territory, and that's the first out of the inning. The catcher number 28, Buster Posey. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Buster Posey comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded to third. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. The batter number 35, shortstop, Brandon. So bases are empty here with two gone, and stepping in the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Lays off 1 and 0. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Pinder has a beat on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Giants are down on four pitches. They're down seven to one. Tony Watson answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter. Ready once again, Chad Pinder. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. One ball, no strikes to count. And the 
sinker is over here and that evens things at one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. McCutcheon going back. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. Sometimes when a reliever comes in the game, he wants to get that first strike so bad that he serves one up. And that's exactly what happens here. The first battery faces just rockets one off the wall. And now he's got to worry about another base hit, potentially bringing home a run. Stepping in now, Jed Lowry. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's one for two in this one. Now the one and one pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Looking forward the strikeout. Here's the one two. Just off the end of the bat. It's a foul ball and he'll stick around. Keep battling young man. Three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. Pinder leads off second with nobody out. Oh. Missed with a slider. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. 2-2, two -two, here it is. Grounder down the line at third. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Tap down the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. You can visibly see the body language of this guy on the mound has completely changed during this at bat. Six foul balls has to be completely frustrating him that he can't put him away. Another 2-2 offering. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Up next for Oakland. Penner Digging in and looking for more. Mark Canna is off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Here's the first pitch to him. And the changeup is way low that time. Here comes the 1-0. Way out in front. Watson has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, every manager and pitching coach, Matty V, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself. And this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's 1-2. and two. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. The one two doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. 
Now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over. Into the box now, Steven Piscotti as he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And this winds up inside for a ball 2 and 0 now. Well, he's got a base open to use right here, and it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching him. Now the 2-0. And this is fouled at the plate. Seven runs, ten hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. The 2-2. Hit hard to the right side. Fielded cleanly by Belt. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. One left for Oakland. They're on top 7-1. to one. Leading off the inning, Gorky's Hernandez. And they'll need him to get something going here. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. The one two strike three on a pitch in the dirt Luke Roy has it and he makes the throw to first Hernandez is retired and there's one away an early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth and boy just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Riding in once again, number six. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Lifted down the line in left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. now batting, Here's base. Kelby Tomlinson. Kelby Tomlinson. And now pitch on the way. A ball oh, and no man. strikes. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. The 1-0 home. Line drive to center field. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. So the two-out base hit in the top of the inning is still alive. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Allen Hansen the next to bat. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 
This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Tomlinson is off of first with two away. The one two pretty well hit deep down the line in right but that's back into the seats foul. Ready with the one and two lays off two and two now when a pitch is close to working through a quick inning that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. One left for San Francisco. They're down seven to one. Striding in for Oakland, Matt Olson, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. First pitch of the at bat. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Not a bad take there on that first pitch. Not a real good idea to go up there looking for a changeup to hit. Sometimes you just have to tip your cap. The 0 1 pitch. Zero. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. The Giants are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. Not the night he or his club were hoping for. Digging in to try it again. Matt Chapman. A hit in two tries so far. First pitch on its way. Just a tick behind for a strike. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. This one for Crawford is short. And there are two away now. Now batting, catcher, Jonathan. Digging in Lucroy. once again, Jonathan Lucroy. He singled his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And, and that sinker misses at the shoe tops. Ball one. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Here it comes on one and one. Changes up on him if that's in the dirt for a ball. Seven runs, ten hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And it's two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two.
the 2-2 one more time. And he fouls this one off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. I got to commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not everyone will battle like this with two outs and nobody on. Three, two pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next three, two. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Man, as a pitcher, I can tell you that is so How frustrating. He's got Number two outs, and he game. wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible, but that hitter makes him work his tail off, and he still loses him. Now with the plate, number 38. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First offering on its way. And he takes ball one. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Two out with the man at first. One one taken strike two. The one two very weakly on the ground, but it gets foul. A runner on first with two away. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. The A's strand one. They're on top seven to one. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Chase Darnot. He'll start the inning, and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. First pitch on its way. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. A ball and a strike to the Giants' leadoff man. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. And this one's up around the eyes, 2-1. and one. Three Ball balls three. and a strike to count to the Giants shortstop. On deck, the left-handed hitting Brandon Belt. And it's full now, three and two. Okay. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. The 3-2 pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Striding in once again, Brandon Belt. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far.
first pitch coming. Here it is. And that one just missed outside. You can't allow this offense to get going right here. Leadoff man on doesn't kill us. Let's try and roll a double play right here. Let's execute a good pitch down and away. See if we can get a ground ball and rely on your defense a little bit. The 1 0 home. 1 and 1 to count. Darno aboard here at first with nobody out. Fastball not close. It's two and one now. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. The set and the two and one pitch. Sliders in for a strike. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now, three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two-hole hitter. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. That's just a great pitch, both on the call from the catcher and the execution if he hits it there's a good chance it turns into a double play ball but it's also a spot that's going to get a lot of whiffs too that's excellent pitching here's Andrew McCutcheon now as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half it's 0 and 1 no hits to this point. One and one to Andrew McCutcheon. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. And it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. If you're on the mound right there and you're getting a swing at a breaking ball off the plate, do not be shocked if he's tucked something up under this guy's chin hot right here. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit high and deep out to left. Pinder facing back at the track. The wall. Gone! It's a two run shot to straight away left as it's now a 7 3 game. Man, he's kicking himself after that pitch. As soon as it left his hand, he knew it was a mistake. The next thing he knew, it was screaming through the night sky and over the fence. Here's Buster Posey now. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Still only one out in the inning. Oh, 
liner towards second. But there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Number 35, Brandon Crawford. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball. Ball one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two misses for the second ball. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Count remains full. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Inside, he misses ball four. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gorky's Hernandez. He went down on strikes last time up. Set and the pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. Two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. Two out with the man at first. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. One one home slap hard the opposite way and that'll get down for a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now he got now the batting. pitch he wanted and he didn't Number miss it right there hammer job in now number six. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Oh, one pitch on its way. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Crawford over at second. Hernandez on at first with two down. In the dirt here. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. The one two. Misses ball two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Slow bouncer to the right side, but that one rolls foul. Two men are on with two men out. Sent on the ground out to second. Gloved by Lowry. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Bye bye, baby. The Giants strike for a pair as you get another look at the two run dinger. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's the A's seven and the Giants three. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Giants, number 54. Reyes. 
So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate, Marcus Semien. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Here's the first pitch to him. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Simeon in an 0 and 2 hole here. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Fouled off. Now another 0 2. And oh, look out as he has to hop out of the way of the fastball there. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you could spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. And that brings up Chad Pinder as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Oh and one here it comes. And that misses one and one. And it looks now like a right handers getting hot in the Giants bullpen. One one. And oh, that gets him on the mound. And he can't make the play as he overruns it, but that should be scored as an infield single. The batter, number eight, second baseman. Ready Jen. once again, Lowry. Jen Lowry. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Change up in for a strike. And that one got a piece of him. Well, there's a couple of ways to look at this. It never looks good to hit a man when your team is getting shelled. Seems a little suspicious. Then again, sooner or later, you've got to reclaim the inside part of the plate, or things can get even worse. Mark Hanna will stand in here again, and as he does, it's a good time to flash you back to the third inning of the ball game as you take a look at his grand slam. Obviously, a key blow early on. He's ready. Here's the first offering. He swings and misses. Throw down. It's there in plenty of time. He's out trying to steal third as they get the lead runner here. Two out here and a runner at second. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin to win if he starts looking for it in there. Set. Here's the three one. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. 
you know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with and he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses it's ball four how about right fielder Steven Piscotti ready for another chance Steven Piscotti no hits in three tries so far he struck out once Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Line but speared on a hop. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. We're through six full. It's the A's seven and the Giants three. Back here at the Coliseum in Oakland. The A's are on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's take a look at our game summary to this point. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the A's, number 36, Hughes Merrow. Let's Leading off the inning, Kelby Tomlinson, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Hit on the ground toward the left. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting, the designated hitter, Alan Hansen. Alan Hansen, the next to bat. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Now the one and one pitch and he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The one two a little bouncer that's a foul ball. Another one two delivery. Fouled away. The one two is taken for ball two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Standing in now, Chase Darno. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Two out, nobody on.
the one two. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. And no problem over there at first as he flags this one down to end the inning. Digging in once again, Matt Olson. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. From the stretch, ball one. One and no delivery. And a fastball just a bit up. There's a strike. Zero. Behind a changeup, if you can imagine, for a strike. Boy, he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. Stood almost no chance of doing anything with it, but it probably looked good coming in. Here now the 2-2. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, he's really been good all game long until that one. He was definitely not trying to hit a guy when he's got two strikes on him. It just appeared that it got away from him. Ready for another shot now. Matt Chapman. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. He's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Popped him up. Darno in foul ground. And he brings it in on the warning track. Up next for Oakland. Catcher. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch on its way. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Olsen, a runner at first with one gone in the inning. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. Takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now batting, number 38. Digging in to try it again, number 38. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Oh, he thanks his lucky stars right there, getting away with that hanger. I cannot believe he didn't pull the trigger on that thing. A 1-1 one, one. is in there for the second strike. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. And that misses two and two. A runner on first with two away.
struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say, his third punch out of the game. One left for Oakland. They hang on to a 7-3 lead. Next to bat for the Giants, Brandon Belt struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Pitch on the way. Here's a high pop up. Chapman on the move. One away. Now that one. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Andrew McCutcheon. In previous matchups with Yusmero Petit, he brings a four for 12 line. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Way in front of that fastball. The 0 and 1 delivery. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1 and 1. One out, nobody on. Popped foul, and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats. The one two hits the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. The captain number 28. So here's the cleanup hitter, Buster Posey. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. You know, you look at this hitter. He doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Ready with the 0-1. And a neck-high fastball that time. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. But an easy play over at first to glove it, and the side is retired. Giants down in order. Deficit holds it four. It's seven to three. Mark Melanson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 41, Mark Melanson. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Marcus Semyon. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now about left fielder. Now with the plate, Chad Pinder. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. First pitch coming, here it is. And that one right down Main Street. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. 
Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Pinder is retired. Two down now. The batter, number eight, Here's Jed Lowry now. Jed Lowry. Melanson looks in. Here comes the first pitch. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. and two the count to Jed Lowry hey from an offensive standpoint you better get it ready this guy is not throwing a ton of pitches he's confident in his stuff he got him looking and that'll do it the inning is over A's are gone in order but they lead it by four it's seven to three there at the Bay Bridge from the East Bay side where we are for this one from the Coliseum Your in Oakland. Chris Hatcher now, comes on from the pen up. hoping to finish Number this one off here in the top of the ninth. Chris Hatcher. Striding in, Brandon Crawford. Leading out for the Giants. What's up? Brandon Crawford. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. The 1-0. Is swung on and missed, strike one. A nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch, he obviously tried to overthrow, got under it, and it sailed on him a little bit. One one home now to Crawford. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a good start to the inning for the Giants. Lead off hitters aboard. Hey guys, he was obviously trying to bury that slider down and in. Nice execution by the batter right there. Keeping his hands inside and fighting it off for a nice base hit. Into the box, Gorky's Hernandez pulls this one in the air out to left. Pinder will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So in now for San Francisco, number six. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. And that one just missed outside. Edwin Jackson in line for the victory, barring a late turnaround. Crawford leads off first with one away. On the ground to the right side. Lowry down on the ground, a great play. Onto the shortstop at second, but it's thrown away. Oh, that's a shame because he made an outstanding diving stop right there. That's when I think the adrenaline might have been pumping a little bit too hard and the ball just takes off on him. Too bad. That could have been a highlight reel play. Blake Trinan answers the call from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Blake
here's Kelby Tomlinson. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Knee-high slider that he takes a look at. Hey, that's a huge pitch right there. You've got to get ahead. When you start to see traffic on the base pass, your defense starts to tighten up a little bit, the best thing to do is pound the zone and get ahead 0-1. Swing and a miss at a ball down. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a two-two count right here. Interested to see what he goes for. Here now the two-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Alan Hansen the next to bat. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. That's back to back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0 1 2. Let's see if he can battle back in this AB. Last strike here for the Giants. And now this crowd of 27,000 plus rise to their feet. San Francisco, good night. Well, the guy was cast in the third inning when they posted a bunch of runs. After that, they did everything they had to just to wrap up this victory. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. Oakland led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Edwin Jackson gets the W on the mound. Number 57 worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com.